Welcome back everybody to another episode of Minecraft Story Mode Season 4, Episode 4, Season 3, Episode 4. My bad, Season 2, Episode 4. What, what's wrong with me? So it looks like there's a cell. Why is everyone celebrating? Oh, because we're leaving? Oh, damn. That's messed up. No, I guess it's just because they finally figured out. They We finally, we agreed to uh, take them back with us above the bedrock. Which must be awful living here. Oh my god. Like, imagine all the adventures we had in our world, like, back in Season 1. Compare it to something, like, hellish like this. Man, I can't believe Jack actually wanted to stay back with those weirdos in Fred's Keep. Can you? Uh, whatever. I don't even care. What? Do you really expect me to believe that? Let it go, May. Come on, we should talk about it if it's bothering you. I said, Petra, let you're it such a go. You're not a very good liar, Petra. We can totally tell that you're upset. I said I don't want to talk about it. Jeez. So, uh, what's the compass saying? We still heading the right way? Hey, let me check. Petra had super emotional things Seems when it like came to Lucas on. and now Jack? Back What's going on here? Brace yourselves. Uh, uh, uh. Why not just jump out before the said hole emerged in the track? No, not Thanks, for Luna. You. Man, the track is a complete wreck. Yeah. What's up with Uh-oh. The only person I've known who's used time slowing potions was Ivor. Uh oh, it's Cobra Commander. What the? Oh no. I have no sword. Oh, uh, this is not gonna end well. We're about to get assassinated. Just duck and weave, boys! Oh, Matrix! Just use it as a smoke screen. We could see clearly right through it. Uh oh. Uh. uh hi, hi there. there. My name's Jesse. <clears throat> and you are? <clears throat> Come on, seriously, who are you? I am a shadow sent to eliminate all imposter Jesses. But but I am Jesse. Oh really? Then prove it. Tell me something that only Jesse would know. Quartz creeps me out. I wear blue underwear. Potatoes right, are my favorite. I wear blue underwear. Jesse could know. How about the fact that I wear blue underwear? I. If you're trying to make me so uncomfortable that I leave, it isn't working. Nope. Well then, who is Sorry. this? It can only be somebody who I'm knows convinced. us personally. Sword time. Say your goodbyes, imposter. Are you kidding me? Even ask me a question then. Yes. I recognize that exasperated confusion anywhere. You Yeah, it's it's gonna be somebody we know. It it's Ivor. I freaking knew it. It is Ivor. <laughs> I guessed it! Oh my god, he's got a man bun. Your friend Ivor. I'm a ninja now, Jesse! What? Yeah, what? It all what? Started when I Excuse me? Into some sort of strange world. Everything was all white. Master Shadow's domain. He claimed he was a ninja master. I'll let him finish. Yeah, I want to hear the story. The shadow arts. At first, I wanted nothing to do with him. He was a very suspicious character. But eventually, after a lot of uncomfortable eye contact, he asked me, me, to be his pupil. I was confused at first because he didn't exactly present his credentials or curriculum, but I'm always open to learning. I'm a student of life after all. I've been so saying I've Ivor this whole yes. time, so I've Before been I calling it. Punching trees, cleaning floors, all this part of my so-called training. At first it seemed Oh my god, did he just make a karate kid reference? A worth of trees and clean miles and miles of floor. Two things became clear. Sometimes, doing menial tasks can be an amazing way to learn martial arts. And sometimes, strange old men just like tricking people into doing their housework. <laughs> anyway, it all worked out because now I'm a ninja. <laughs> and my newfound ninja this skills This me This, this philosophy is to too much for me. Are you... Uh, are you done? Please? Please be done? Huh? Yes! I suppose I'm doing a lot of talking. Just had a lot to say after all of that quiet and mysterious business. It's so good to see you. This is insane. Oh, you know you missed me. 
No, you tried really to kill not. me. Uh, hang on, you tried to kill me. Ah, uh, yes. That was an unfortunate way to reunite. Let me explain. You see, it all started when Harper and I returned from our vacation. We discovered that while we were gone, you had mysteriously vanished after fighting a prismarine giant named the Admin. Right. Only to return, having defeated this Admin and taken his amazing powers. Wait, what? Yeah, that's not right. I mean, Tell you me didn't you didn't believe, believe it, right? I did it first. How could I not? Looked like you, sounded like you, except now you could fly around and had all sorts of cool superpowers. Jesse, a.k.a. the admin, gave me this and told me he had reprogrammed it to find the fraud, a.k.a. you. But with my new ninjances, <clears throat> I could tell something wasn't right. Anyone who disagrees, anyone who questions Jesse, disappears. Oh, they must hate me. Certainly not helping your reputation. No, but I knew that Jesse, the real Jesse, would never act like that. That's why I Could you imagine if your actions of how you treated him in season one affected his decision here? That'd be the, the longest truth. played. You, that that'd be the longest played Ivor will remember this in history. I would have felt terrible about killing you. Classic thing to say. To your <laughs> As friends. if you could kill I me. If I had a diamond sword, sarcastic. you'd be in a way different position. But you like you could. Hmm. Yeah. I pressed silence by accident. I'm I'll an admit, idiot. You've gotten better since we were last hanging out. I was impressed. I don't do it for the compliments, Petra. But they certainly don't hurt. Wait, but what am I doing wasting time talking? Back to the prison soon and report in. The admin will know that something isn't right. That's perfect. We can use that artifact to power the to power the portal. That I'm actually down Which here. will buy you the time you need to find Fred's weapon. Hold on! How'd you know about I'm that? I'm a ninja. Anyway. That plan is all well and good, but what exactly I'm a ninja. That explains away any doubts. It needs to be plausible, but dramatic. Yeah, believable, but entertaining. Tell him I died trying to flee the sunshine. That I died trying to escape. Fluff up his ego. Let him think that he built an inescapable prison. Ah, oh, yes. A fed ego is a happy ego after all. I'm sorry I can't stay longer, but I must go. Go. We'll see you when we get back to the surface. No, oh, wait. Can I borrow that amulet? Certainly, but why? We need it for a portal and stop biting things, Luna. Long story involving a portal and a magic frame, but it'll help us get home. Please hurry. It's getting dire up there. Smoke bomb! <laughs> oh my god, he actually disappeared. Ah! You saw nothing. Did he just backflip into lava? My god. We all just saw that. Right? I, I didn't, like, hallucinate Ninja Ivor? Nuh-uh. I'm still trying to process how the heck, the, how the heck this all happened, first of all. Get any I, st I still think that this Come entire on, season is a fever dream. I'm guessing we're going back to the Oasis now, or we still have to search for the shack? Oh, we're going to Romeo Berg. Okay. Looks like the compass is pointing right to that building. The compass? Oh, good. It only sounds like there are a few thousand big scary people between us and there. Halt! You there! What business have you? I uh, think we need to go into that building behind you. If that's okay. Uh, you know, it is in fact not okay, okay? Now just move along and don't go anywhere near the building or we will sick our army on you. Or we'll sick our army on you. Wouldn't want to unleash the force of our army. And it's a mighty- Wait, 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 army. we're here to join. Yes, we've heard amazing things about your army because we're the new recruits. But Jesse, we're not going to- Well, that's great. We should let him in. Because we really don't have Shut a... Shut it! <clears throat> we doubt your claims. <laughs> See, this is Is it just a recording things. of a bunch of people screaming hey, and there's only like army. two people in there? You too, Jeff. Let's take these invaders out! 
It is a recording, Jesus. Uh, that's weird. It's not weird. The army just, just, uh, took a power nap. Now they're stronger than ever. Yeah. <laughs> they, <laughs> the reverse the Saiyan, yeah. like the reverse We're Saiyan not gonna biology. We're going to you again, all right? You just skedaddle before our well-rested army makes you regret it. They're gearing up. Yeah, it's the biggest army you've ever Was that an audio disc right in a, in a, in a disc player? Disc? You're an audio disc. Yeah, oh, you're right. Yeah. Kind of I mean, essentially, we all are. Have a jukebox sitting just out of you behind the city's parapet. Fine. Her name is Soup. You have outfoiled us. We don't have an armor. Mm, yeah, I know, but uh, still can't let you in. Sorry. Really, it's for your own good. That building you're pointing at? That's Romeo's challenge. Yeah, it's nothing more than a death trap. The worst kind of trap. Which is why Ooh. we vowed to keep everyone out. Even relentless travelers like you. I mean, you should thank for keeping you away from it, okay? We're doing you a solid. Yeah! Duh. Help us help you! Essentially, we'll take you back up to the surface. The challenges. Help us help you! Uh, help us. Yeah! Logically, we're helping you more than you're helping us, which wouldn't help us help you, but helping us would help us help you more than you've ever helped anyone, so... Ah, my brain hurts. I can't argue with your word magic. Open the gate! On it! No, Soup, the, the gate. Yeah, the, the real gate. Right! Like the actual it. gate. Whoa, weird llama. What are they doing? Negotiating terms. Uh huh? <laughs> Good God! I've got a pet llama too. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm only it's llama sitting. Pet. I'm just looking after her for someone as a favor. Oh <laughs> no! I didn't mean it. No, wait. You're a strong, independent. You don't need llama. an owner. You don't need to define your life with a pet-owner relationship. Yes, that made up for it. I I assume I assume people like felt so bad that they just added that quick other dialogue choice. Yeah. <laughs> Thank um, you, Telltale. Every time where everyone enters a mysterious challenge room that never comes out, we'll do that. I uh <laughs> suppose that uh might affect population levels a little. Uh, we still don't feel good about permitting you in the challenge room, especially unarmed. But we'll trade you some gear if you can build something to scare off future unwanted visitors you know like a snowman or a huge flower just <sighs> make something that will help us strike fear into the hearts of all who would see it keep people off our backs something to give us a little me time okay i'll, s I'll, I'll see what i can cook up mm, okay I'm gonna make a base of mycelium. And then we can add just a little bit of mycelium here to act like his eyebrows. And maybe a little bit of mycelium there. And there you go, finished. Oh it's wow. perfect. That will give me nightmares. <laughs> well done. Yes. Wonderfully horrifying. Perfect. Now, that's actually where I'm going to end the episode this time, so I want to thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you all next time.